And we're going live to our reporter, Doogie Beatty, who is in Northern Ireland. Where are you at the moment, Doogie? Well, we've crossed Strangford Lock and we're in Explorers Wildlife Centre, well, actually Aquarium, and I'm with uh, Blur, who is a junior aquarist, and we're in the Seal Hospital. Tell us a little bit about what we're looking at. Uh, so here in the Seal Hospital, uh, we rescue and look after these seals until they're ready to be released back out in the wild. Uh, so in here you can see we've got our harbour seal pups. Uh, they will have been at the born at the start of, uh, of June, so they're all only a couple of months old. Uh, but when they're fully grown, they'll get to about the, the same sort of size as me, about 190 centimetres, and about the weight of a fridge, about 130 kilos. So they really are uh, some of Northern Ireland's largest uh, animals. Um, the other species we'll be rescuing probably about the start of autumn time when they're born uh, will be the grey seal. They get even bigger. Uh, an adult grey seal can get to about 3 metres long uh, in some extreme cases and about 300 kilos. That's about the weight of 3 baby elephants. Uh, so absolutely massive creatures. Uh, we only ever take them in when they're pups though. So, um, yeah, these ones are uh, still very young. Most of them should still be on their mother's milk. Um, which is why we have to, to feed them fish soup. We're just uh, starting to train them on to, to eating whole fish. Uh, so it could be another f maybe four months or so before these guys are released back out into the wild. But we're taking very good care of them. We work with vets and everything just to make sure they're uh, in tip-top condition. How far would these seals travel when you just let them go? Uh, so we have put trackers on them in the past. A lot of them would stay locally around Strangford and around uh, the coast of Ireland. Um, others will travel a, a lot farther. They'll go way up to the Hebrides. They'll go to the North Wales, to the wind farms where there's uh, plenty of fish. Um, just somewhere there's a nice big colony and plenty of food for them. Why, um, why would their mothers abandon them? I mean, what is the reason for that? Yeah, so we'll bring them in for a variety of reasons. Uh, the main one would be abandonment from their mothers. Uh, unfortunately, um, if she has twins, there's a good chance she'll abandon one pup, just cut her losses with the other one and, uh, and you know, focus on one, help it survive. Uh, if the wee seal pup gets injured or very sick, uh, she'll again cut her losses and then just try again next year. But uh, the reason she might abandon her pup um, in most cases is human interference. Uh, so a lot of people will see a wee seal pup resting on the beach. When they're this age, they do need to come into shore quite a lot um, just to have a wee rest. But... Um, uh, people will maybe come up and they'll, they'll try and take a photo, they'll let their dogs near them, or sometimes with the best intentions, they'll try and move them back into the sea or they'll, they'll try and feed them. Uh, but that'll scare off the mother. She's usually waiting somewhere just offshore. Um, and then, of course, once the mother's scared off, they don't have her milk or her protection, and the poor wee things are doomed either to end up here, if they're lucky, or just to, to die out in the wild. Uh, so if you ever do see a wee seal pop out in the wild, just keep your distance. About 100 metres or so is plenty. Um, if it's looking towards you, you're already disturbing it. Um, if it looks like it's in distress or if it's injured or sick, uh, you can give us... Uh, uh, give us a call here at Explorers. We'll come out and uh, take a look at it. If it needs rescued, uh, we'll bring it in here and make sure it uh, gets the best care possible. What are the two main, uh, I suppose, seal that we have in the UK? Yes, yeah, so we'd get the uh, harbour seal. That's the one we see here. Uh, and also the grey seal. Um, yeah, these ones uh, are the, are the harbour seals. They are a lot less aggressive, um, a lot smaller as well, uh, much more cute. Uh, there's an easy way to tell the difference. Um, when they're pups, uh, the grey seals will be born with a lunugo coat. That's that white fluffy coat you see on baby seals. Uh, these guys are born without it. just means they can enter the water a lot more quickly. Uh, they can go into the water within a few hours of being born. Um, when they're fully grown, the, the main difference would be the, the snout. Um, so we harbour seals, they look more like a pug. They've got this wee round snout on them, great big eyes and little V-shaped nostrils. Uh, grey seals, they look more like a great dame. They've got these big strong noses on them and uh, little parallel nostrils and much smaller eyes. Well, that was an education to me, I can tell you, and I could stay here all day. These animals are absolutely gorgeous, but with that, we have to leave.